So, hold on, make sure all my fucking buttons are done, because I'm, I forgot to wear an undershirt, so I got a lot of poop showing. Hold on, I don't got a lot of fucking room here. So, we gotta move some shit, just a little bit. I'm a traveler when, I, when I'm up here a little bit. I, so, uh, so we're gonna get this party started. Uh, this fuck is gonna bother me right off the bat. Hopefully my balls aren't showing. I'm wearing underwear. Um, my name's Joe Bobby. Uh, this is Carrie. She was here last time, and I straight fucked this shit up last time. Like, so I figured, hey, if I made an ass out of myself, I might as well put a fucking suit on. So I went online and I bought me an Eeyore. And I went extra large, because I'm extra large. It doesn't fit. Um, so well. So now I got goals on losing weight. Um, You're supposed to wear the boots. One thing that kind of confused me when I got it um, was it came with a zipper, like, all the way across. So, like, so can imagine trying to go into a... No, think about this. You got a private stall. You're going in there and you're... You're going to try to take a shit with this thing on. Can you imagine that? You got a tail dangling. It didn't work. So... That's one of the bad things about this. I ain't even going to try to zip this shit up. <laughs> so some of the places that you don't want to be taking this suit to, a petting zoo. You do not walk into a petting zoo, especially a guy like me. I'm 47 years old. You know, I'm a, I'm a little awkward walking into a petting zoo with this. Hey, Brad. That's my buddy Brad. That's Leslie. I don't even know why I stopped. Say hi to your mom. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start talking about mom. So mom, Marley and Bobby, how you doing? I know you're probably pretty pissed off. You see your son on a few alcoholic drinks, wearing a fucking donkey suit in front of a bunch of motherfuckers like you. So my mom's like, she's in a in, in a retirement community in Florida, so she's probably just loving this shit. Like, so this is my son. Uh, he likes to cook food, uh, grow cannabis, and uh, make an ass out of himself on stage. That's his qualities. So, hey, Mom, how you doing? I have some other friends that, uh, I don't know, that's a bright light. Hey, how you doing? I'm just kidding. Um, I don't even know where I'm going on this one. Um, I had a little set list I put on my hands. As you can see, it, uh... It's kind of fell apart because uh, my donkey suit was a big part of my gig. I was hoping that, you know, I could talk to you guys about a few things where you wouldn't want to wear this, like church. You don't want to go to church around Christmas trying to say, hey, I'm part of the manger scene. I'm the donkey. There is no goddamn fucking donkey in it. Get out of the church. Like, okay. Fuck. Sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry for the young lady there. I didn't mean to swear. Um, so I guess another place you don't want to be going in this is uh, a funeral. You show up at somebody's funeral and you're like, I thought we were celebrating this really good funeral and having a good time wearing costumes and stuff like that. Uh, no. No. <laughs> Thank you, Tommy. My buddy is Tommy. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> keep it going. Keep it going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got a can. I was about to. See, I got a lot of. I got a lot of inspiration. Yeah, um, in comedy. Um, one of them is Ken. Thanks. I love you, man. Yeah, I love you too, bro. And a lot, awesome. a lot of these friends that brought me up to do this, like Casey. He's over trying to hide all Jedi. <laughs> Um, other than that, uh, I actually just, I, I lost a little bit here. I gotta go back to my list. Hold on. Let me go out and delight and look. Okay. Don't show up at Walmart with this on you. With the what? Walmart. With what? 
I said, do that. <laughs> so anyway, um, that's my bit. You guys have a great night. Psych. Oh, man. So, um, you guys, I need everyone here. Um, what do we got? Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About 22 people. No, no, shit. He's way wrong. Okay, we're going to do your math and Brad's math. Okay, uh, let me do a count really. Matt's always right, y'all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we got 38 people plus these three in front of my life. So we got a song I wake up to almost every day. Um, Joe's gay! Yeah, here we go. Brad will start up. Joe's gay every day. Come on, everybody. Come on. Joe's gay every day. Come on. Joe's gay every day. One more time. Every day, bro. Okay. Love you, So, um. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I gotta go back to the hand. And you know what I gotta tell you about? Yeah, and that works out. That really works out here, guys, because. So you gotta go back to the hand and look at it, but what was weird when I got this? Look at these fucking pockets. Away from I know, but if you had these are onesies. You're supposed to wear this like to bed. This is what you're supposed to wear to bed. And the reason I had this actually folks is I was a line cook and I had a dishwashing uh, shift and some stupid son of a bitch said, Hey, I'll bet you 50 bucks you wouldn't wear this outfit to do a dishwasher. So I went out and bought it for 20 bucks and I won 30 basically for wearing it in. What is it? I'm a manager. So you hanging in your cost all this time? I, I've had it for quite some time. I actually have a, I have a Sasquatch hunting outfit. I have a lot of different outfits for That's crazy. Outfits, so. That'll catch you in anger. For real. <laughs> You guys have a good night. Love you, Bobby. Love you, Bobby. My job. My Uh, <laughs> I'm